Hello, can you hear me? We were too late. The vault has been destroyed. The alchemical furnace with it. This was their true objective, to deny us entry into the void. Kanyatso and Ajdaya's eye were a diversion. A means to detain us in Garlemald, while they went to work here. To reduce the vault to rubble. That which you hunt is no ordinary foe. Have care. Such an exquisite sight. The canvas of vibrant colors. As was our world, too, once. I am Rubicante, the Archfiend of Fire. A monster in flesh, yet in spirit I remain a man, a prisoner of the past. Such tears I wept when darkness consumed the world, until Lord Golbez came and spoke of salvation. Thus do I walk proudly at his side to see his dream fulfilled. Hmm. Your heart is pure. For benevolent cause you seek the dragon. But I cannot allow you to have it. Cannot allow you to interfere. If you would continue, then there is but one recourse. I shall await you at the summit. Come, mortal. Come and weigh your righteousness against mine.
as I knew you would. As too will I. Come!
It seems I was a step too slow. <sighs> to defeat all of us Archfiends, you are strong indeed. You would know your enemy's heart. Very well. It bleeds more than you can ever understand. But I will speak, and you will listen, and learn how all began. Has it been since the world was undone? Since light and life gave way to darkness and undeath? Since we were reduced to beasts befouled, squabbling over what scant ether remains? But you are different. You remember who you were and the paradise for which you fought. 
That world will never be ours again. But we need not suffer in this purgatory of death and rebirth forever. Join me, and together we shall seek the promised land. There is no hope. No freedom from the wheel. You speak a fantasy. I speak truth. The Asians' revelation. There are other worlds than this. Ours is but one of fourteen. There is no greater proof than the whispers we hear, born of a neighboring reality. A reality to which we may journey if we can but break down the barrier that divides us. You meant it then. We will take this world as our own. <laughs> Look at me! In return for your strength, I offer you opportunity to pursue your own ends in service to a greater cause. A glorious kingdom of light, wherein all may know death's sweet Embrace! And thus did we begin our great work. You intend to forsake the Thirteenth and conquer the Source? Just so. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. You served Golbez of your own volition. As atonement for my failures, I tried to be a hero. Tried to stop the war. But I could not. So in turn you wage another? A means to a final end. The wheel of depravity must be broken. Even the most exalted succumb. We eat and eat and deepen the stain upon our souls until only the hunger remains. Is this to be our fate for all eternity? I don't know. About this and a great many things. But I do know that it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. Not everything need be a trade. This I learned from the people of this world. Even without a contract, without any expectation of personal gain, they labor for one another. I didn't understand it at first, and perhaps I still don't. But if I'm to achieve something, I'd rather do it their way. Else I am already a hunger-maddened beast. <laughs> Perhaps we have indeed surrendered to the hunger after a fashion. Make for our moon. 
There you will find both Lord Golbez and your dragon. Never. Our triumph is at hand, and the knowledge will avail you naught. But to be so viciously slandered, pride demands I prove my virtue at the last. And perhaps your own will resonate with his and draw forth that singular jewel which abides deep within his heart. A desire which lies beyond his quest to free us from our purgatory. A desire all his own. 